I am again here with a new video and the today's topic is affinity chromatography. So friends, as I already told you, chromatography contains two phases that is stationary phase and mobile phase. In affinity chromatography, in stationary phase that is agarose and mobile phase is protein mixture. Affinity chromatography is a method used to separate different kind of proteins from a mixture or it is a chromatography that is used in many immunochromatography techniques to diagnose in per persons, uh, to diagnose diseased persons and affinity chromatography is based on certain affinity interactions between molecules, between chemicals. For example, we have histidine. Histidine shows affinity towards nickel or cobalt and the second example is glutathione transferase that shows affinity towards glutathione okay friends let me draw the column that how affinity chromatography works so if we have a column that contains both stationary phase and mobile phase the layer the walls of this column of this one we are drawing this column just to easy, just to easily understand this affinity chromatography just to make uh, convenient so agarose is present on the walls of this column that is stationary phase this agarose gel is used as a fade so this agarose is used as a fade and this agarose is containing nickel or cobalt molecules that are interacted with agarose nickel or cobalt molecules that are integrated in agarose gel now we have another phase that is mobile phase or we can say protein mixture protein mixture contains histidine histidine is present in this protein mixture we have to apply this protein mixture into this column when we apply this protein mixture into this column the histidine molecules show affinity towards nickel or cobalt and they are going to bind to nickel or cobalt and the rest of other molecules simply washed away from this column rest of other molecules simply washed away from this column and histidine molecules will show affinity towards nickel or cobalt and they will start binding to nickel or cobalt now we have to separate these histidine molecules after washing uh, washed out of these other molecules histidine molecules now binds with nickel or cobalt the process used to separate histidine molecules from this column is known as illusion now we, we have another chemical that is known as imidazole imidazole we have to apply imidazole into this column imidazole helps in break down the interaction between nickel and cobalt and simply applying imidazole to this column will result into the separation of histidine molecules from nickel and cobalt simply these histidine molecules washed out and and to be separated into a beaker so this process of separation of histidine molecules from nickel or cobalt is known as illusion so friends this is the process how affinity chromatography works or this is the working of uh, this is the working principle of affinity chromatography next we will talk about other types of chromatography that is ion exchange chromatography gas chromatography column chromatography etc thank you